Hello, my name is Jonathan Borrell, Head of Global Market Technology for Amritsu. I'm pleased to introduce to you today our demonstration of network slicing for a smart factory. As 5G networks deploy in standalone configuration, we start to see the opportunity for network operators to provide network slicing services to provide differentiated quality to different applications, such as smart factory or automotive connected cars. Our demonstration today is showing a smart factory scenario where we have a video camera monitoring a conveyor belt and a robot arm which is actually taking objects off the production line if they are faulty. The demonstration shows the Anritsu MT8000 network simulator providing the network slice capability to the devices on the factory floor and we have an interdigital edge node which is doing the processing of the video feed from the camera and sending the real-time commands back to the robot to control the factory production process. Today's demonstration will look at how Anritsu's rapid test designer product can be used to support industrial development and integration. The RTD combined with Anritsu's system simulators provide complete network simulation for 2, 3, 4 and 5G. This lab-based solution for device test and integration creates a controlled and reproducible script-based environment and Ritsu's RTD system collapses all core network components and radio access network into a single stack, providing a user view that mirrors the mobile equipment's over-the-air interface. Radio resource control and non-access stratum layer 3 APIs allow developers to focus on what to test rather than how to test it, with layer 1 and layer 2 automatically configured to match the over-the-air signalling. From the radio interface up the stack to user plane functionality, allowing end-to-end -end and top-to-bottom connection testing. InterDigital Labs has been working closely with Anritsu to demonstrate high bandwidth and low latency services over the Anritsu 5G system. These services include high-resolution video streaming and closed-loop factory com command control. Today, we are demonstrating the Zero Defect Manufacturing, or ZDM use case, with the Anritsu 5G system simulator. Specifically, we will investigate the aspects of 5G connectivity and mobile edge computing for supporting real-time analysis of a high-resolution video of goods being produced in a factory in order to detect possible defects. In this demo, we are showing a two-part setup, a factory side with a production line monitored with a high-resolution camera and an edge side with AI object detection capabilities which are connected over the Anritsu 5G system. The camera monitors the objects coming out and streams a live video of the production process to an edge node using a dedicated 5G slice. The edge node uses AI-based object detection to check whether the object is defective or not and signals a command back to the factory over a separate 5G slice. The factory acts based on the decision received from the edge node and removes defective objects from the production line. Hence, by using the AI capabilities at the edge node, the factory can produce goods with zero defects. Let's now take a look at the RTD and see how the tool can be used to configure a 5G network, indicating, indicating to the mobile equipment network slice selection assistance information. During registration, the RTD uses NAS signaling to indicate to the mobile equipment available slice information. Here, we can see two slices indicated, slice type 1 for broadband and slice type 2 for low latency communication. Once registered, the UE will establish PDU sessions for each of the two network slices. The first PDU session for broadband uplink video. The second PDU session for downlink control to the factory. On the MMT application, we can look at network activity in different ways.
from high level signaling to slot based low level decodes. Measurements can also be viewed for each of the protocol layers and for each of the channels. Here we can see high bandwidth uplink data and low bandwidth downlink data. For post application analysis, we can use the protocol analyzer tool to look at any of the signaling messages in detail. The first part of our setup is the factory side. This factory is equipped with a robotic arm, a conveyor belt, a sliding rail, a disposal basket, and the goods or the objects. These components are referred to as the production line. Additionally, there is a high resolution camera and an on-site control node. The on-site control node supervises the production process and controls different components in the production line based on instructions received from the edge node. At the production line, the robotic arm picks up an, ob an object and places it on a running conveyor belt. In this demo, we use cubes as the main product of the factory, where we trained our AI system to detect the cubes having black circular marks as defective. Meanwhile, the camera streams a high-resolution video over the 5G network using a single 5G slice to the edge node. After identifying the condition of the cube, the edge node sends its decision back to the on-site control node. If the cube was identified as defective, the control node instructs the conveyor belt to stop moving and commands the robotic arm to slide over the sliding rail to remove the defective object and dispose it in a nearby basket. Subsequently, the control node instructs the, the robotic arm to slide back to its initial position to pick up the next cube. In a live deployment with Mobile Edge Computing, the uplink data would be destined for processing in the Mobile Edge Cloud, and the control would need to be quick and reliable to support this closed loop industrial vertical.